So in this video, I'm gonna give you six exercises to improve the power of your kicks. So the first exercise is gonna be a Bulgarian split squat or a rear foot elevated split squat. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna take a chair or something like this. I wanna place the back foot, the rear foot, onto the chair. The idea is I wanna have kind of um, no, no work coming from that back leg. It wants to be focused on this front one. So I wanna be out here, nice comfortable position with good balance. I wanna slightly tip my hips forwards so I'm gonna be over that front leg and I'm gonna drop myself down, nice and low under control, and drive back up. Down under control and drive back up. So it's just the one leg working. Try to have no push from that back leg. So down, slight lean forwards as I said, drive back up. Down, drive back up. Second exercise, um, I'm gonna use this resistance band, it's a loop, okay, we can use we can use the band or we can use an ankle weight or you can even use nothing. You can just use the, uh, the motion. But we're going to train the hip flexors now. So what I want to do is I want to loop this one around my supporting foot, stand on that one. And then the other one I'm going to take onto the top of the foot. From that position there, I'm just going to drive the knee upwards. Okay, so I'm here, driving the knee up. Down, drive that knee up. So we're kind of working that chamber for the front kick from there. Just squeezing up under that resistance. Um, like I said, it's not, in, it's not essential to have the band, um, but of course it's adding a little bit more resistance to it to build that strength. Okay, so the third exercise is going to be down on the floor. I'm going to do a single leg hip thrust. Um, we can do a two leg or we can do a single leg. I prefer the single for the kicking, but from here I'm going to lay on my back, cross my arms. The non-working leg is going to be elevated, okay? Arms are crossed and I'm going to push my heel into the ground to thrust my hips upwards. Slowly down from here, drive back up. Down, drive back up. So we're squeezing the glutes from this way. This is similar to the sort of motion we'd make in a back kick or a side kick, um, training the muscles of the glutes and the posterior chain. <laughs> Number four is gonna be a plyometric exercise. We're gonna be springing off the floor to develop some power. Okay, so I'm gonna take a split stance from here. That, knee, that back knee is close to the ground. From here, I'm gonna drive upwards, change the legs. Up, and change the legs. We can do, back to the same leg again, or we can alternate each side. Your choice. If that one's too difficult, we could just do a two-legged one, a squat. Okay, exercise number five. We're gonna have a a table or something to lean our knee on. What I'm gonna be doing from here is I'm gonna get into the chamber position for a roundhouse kick, for a mawashigiri, and I'm gonna train the abductor muscles and partially the glutes, glute medius. So from here, I'm gonna put my knee onto this pad, okay? As I mentioned in my previous videos, back foot is turned to the outside to open these hips up, hips up correctly. So from here, this wants to be a fairly comfortable position or range of motion right now. And I wanna go from here, lift, and back down again. Lift, and back down. So I'm just lifting up, squeezing the muscles here at the side, and back down. Lift, and down. Lift, and down. A bonus extension to that. We could lift the knee, throw the kick, put it down. Lift the knee, throw the kick, put it down. Lift the knee, throw the kick, and put it down. Okay, number six. Uh, six is not actually an exercise as such, but number six is to improve your technique. If your kicking mechanics are improved, the power is going to come through immediately. Okay, so that, that means improving your mobility, improving the way you uh, deliver the kick, um, understanding how to correctly make that power in the first place. Um, you could be as strong as you like, and if you've not got good technique, that's not going to transfer into your kicks. How you can do this is watch my other videos. I've got many tutorials now on YouTube. Um, on various different kicks and how to develop them individually. So take a look at those and improve your kicks.